there. Today we're going to do more core. It's about a 20 minute workout, um, plus a little bit of pull down and a teeny tiny little bit of a uh, warm up just at the very beginning. We're going to work 30 seconds, rest 10 seconds, which is our transition period. Um, no weights necessary. I'll be doing some planks. I'll be doing some things on my rear end, boat poses, low boat poses, some twists, modify if you need to for your back. And then I'll go to um, a laying down position, do some reverse curls and things there. And then we'll repeat it all over again for a second round. So get your music, get it pumping, get your water, whatever you need, and let's get going here. So timer is on, and I will be starting in an elbow plank position. And I'll be doing toe taps out side to side left, right, or right, left. Now, if you'd rather do this on your knees, then you can just kind of do a little tap, but staying on your knees instead of your toes. You can also do all your planks at an incline using some furniture. Make sure your furniture is not gonna slip and slide so that you fall down. And hold. Whew. Okay. Next plank will be on our hands and feet, and we will be doing um, a knee pull diagonal under. So we're gonna come under, 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 kind of rotating through the hips as you do that. Keep your core nice and tight. my elbows. This time I'll do a little marching feet, lifting one foot then the other, a little up and down movement. So elbows, plank, and I'm lifting, 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 up and down with the feet. Do what you can. If you need to rest, you rest. And if you need to take out the feet and just hold your plank, that is perfectly fine. Woo, almost there, almost there. Woo. Okay, going back to a hand plank, this time we'll do shoulder tap, shoulder tap, shoulder tap, and then after this move, we'll have a seat for a boat pose move. So a tap, a tap, a tap. Core is also nice and tight here. Trying to minimize movement through the body. If you're losing your balance, you can widen the feet, make a broader base. And hold. Okay, I'm gonna flip over onto my buns. I'll be doing a boat pose. I'll just be holding the pose. I'm gonna hold it with bent knees. If you are a true yogi, you can go ahead and extend those legs up. So I have a V angle here. I'm leaning my upper body back. Arms are reaching. Make sure your shoulders are pushing down. Head is lifting so you have a neck. I don't want you falling down here. I want you pulling up here. And if you need to tap down or hold on or anything, then that's what you do. Oh, Woo. okay, a little break. Okay, next move, same position, but this time we'll be doing in and outs. I'll have my feet or feet, feet up, my hands down on the floor, and I'm gonna be pulling in and out, straight in, straight out. So I'm on my fingertips, shoulders still pressing down. And if you'd rather get rid of the hands on the floor, just bring them in, you can do your in and outs right here. A few more. Oh, hold. Whew. Okay, back to your boat pose. We'll do boat pose, go down to a low hovering boat pose. 
you need to drop a foot, then that's what you do. So take it up to your boat. I'm gonna drop down, hover. I'm gonna come back up. Drop down, hover. Come back up. You can use your hands to help if you need to. Coming down, going up, and down, and up. You can hang on if you want to. to a twist, a mason twist. So I'm sitting, I'm gonna lean back, I'm gonna let go, and I'm gonna twist. So I'm twisting from the shoulders. Twist, twist, twist. Now if that bothers your back, then you can minimize the twist. You can do a little arm movement, hanging on to this V position. Otherwise, go ahead and twist if that's okay with your body. you on this one. So I'm on my left thumb this time. I'm going to lean back into my V and I'm going to go in and out here. After this move, we'll lay down on our back and go into some reverse curls, flutters, in and outs, things like that. the double leg extension. Abs in, back pulling firmly toward the ground. And hold. Whew. Okay, hands are gonna stay right where they are. And my elbows tucked in. I'm gonna bring my feet out. I come up on my elbows a little bit, legs out. I'm gonna go up and down. It's a flutter, up down with the feet, like a little kicking movement. So if that's too hard, Bring your flutter higher. We'll take some pressure out of your back. Otherwise, you can stay down here. Abs in. Whew. Almost there. And hold. Oh, goodness. Okay, I'm keeping my hands here. I'm going to my reverse curl, but this time I'm gonna extend my legs up into the air and then reverse it back down and out. Here we go. In, up from the hips, and out. Trying to go straight up above the hips. I don't want you to kick and come up behind you, behind your head. Coming up to the ceiling and down. Up to the ceiling and down. <clears throat> Cross with the feet. So right over left, 
left over right, right over left, left over right. And you can speed that up, go crisscross, or you can keep it slow. You can go higher if you need to, and then see how far down you can come, or you can just stay down low. nice and tight. And hold. Whew. Okay, back to elbows, elbow plank with marching feet. Little toe lifts up, down, up, down. Here we go. Up, down, up, down. March, march. Keeping our head up, neck is aligned with the back, the spine. Don't drop your head between those hands. in. Whew. Oh, I'm shaking. Oh, oh hold. Whew. Okay, this time we have in and out. We're going to be center. We'll save the diagonal for a different round. So here we go. Center, hands down, fingertips, in and out. So on the out, I don't go all the way out. And when I pull in, 
your chest in toward those legs, in toward the legs. You're moving both ends, bringing them in toward one another. motion here, or the diagonal motion here. Make sure your neck's pulling up out of those shoulders. on the other side, other bun. Here we go, lean back, twist, twist, twist. So again, change this if it bothers your back. We're trying to get that twisting motion through the shoulders, shoulders. So sometimes I see people doing this with their arms. That's okay if you need to protect your back. If your back is good, then try to give me that twist. Oh. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna flip around. I'm gonna go on to my other bun. And I'm gonna do in and out on my other side. Here we go. In and out. In and out. Breathing. Woo. Oh, goodness. Oh, okay, now I'm going to lay down. Woo. Last set of moves. So, laying down, hands under the bottom of your rear, in and out. In, out. Now, when I get to the other set, where I come in and then lift up. If you don't like that one, you can do this one again. Uh, and again, you can do alternating legs, alternating toe taps, or two leg extension. Oh, and hold. Whew, okay, I'm gonna keep my hands there. I'm gonna do my flutter kick up down with the feet. So here we go. Hands under, elbows tucked in, that helps me with my back. Flutter up and down with the feet. Flexed or pointed, you choose. And again, you can bring these legs higher in the air if you need to take some pressure out of your back. So I keep my hands under my buns. Here we go. In, up. Try and use your core when you lift those hips. Not kicking and momentum. Oh. 
hold. Whew. Okay, I got one more with my hands under my buns. That's crisscross feet, one over the other, and then the other over the other. There we go. Right over left, left over right. So you can keep this pace, kind of slow, or you can cross, 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 cross. Flex your point your feet, whichever you choose. You're almost there. Oh. And hold. Oh, goodness. Okay. Move your hands. Bring them back. We have bicycles this time. And here we go. Twist, 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 twist. You're not pulling on your head. There. And hold. Woo! Okay. Bring your knees in towards your chest. Hips lift up a bit. I forgot to warm you up a bit. So I'll just do some extra little stretching here at the end. Bring your shoulders up toward the legs. And release. Grab hold, wrap yourself on up. I'm gonna flip over onto my hands and knees right here. And I'm gonna lift as you get down. Lift. And down. Try to get your own pace here. And hold. Okay, drop your belly down. Inhale. Exhale, pull your belly button in. Inhale, drop down. Exhale, come on up. Inhale, come down. And exhale, come up. Keep it here, keep breathing. I want you to twist. Oh. Left hip toward left shoulder and then right. And hold center, and drop down, and do the same little motion. And hold, bring it back up, belly button in, shake your head. Oh, and come on down, have a seat. Okay, legs are out, feet are flexed. I want you to reach, grab those toes, not going to go very far with those toes pulling back unless you are really, really flexible, which I'm not anymore. <clears throat> okay, release the toes. Point your toes. Don't grab them. I want you to round down. Pull your belly button in. And come on up, shoulder rolls, oh. open up through the chest, oh. thumbs go back, take them behind, press down and lift, come forward, lifting those arms up a bit. And release the arms, fold down. And walk up out of it and we are all done. Great job if you're still with me. Have a great day. I hope to have you join me again on one of my other videos. Thank you.